All right, Whew. man, okay. A um, lot of things I wanna say about this, guys. Um, I manage a couple different Airbnb apartments and having a smart lock is very important. It's a very important piece of the puzzle uh, in keeping the unit secure and not having to worry about uh, people losing keys and, uh, you know, and just being, you know, at, on the cutting edge of, you know, what uh, home sharing should be in this modern age where you can actually hook up this lock to the internet via Wi-Fi. So let me explain a little bit about it. This is um, by remote lock. And there's a lot of different options in terms of what, um, you know, different smart lock companies. This one is a little bit more pricey, um, the lock state remote lock company, um, but you get what you pay for and this is a quality lock. And in addition to the construction and design being so good, I have to say that one of the, I mean like a big uh, determining factor in terms of why, uh, you know, an additional reason of why I like this so much is because the user interface online is super simple to figure out, okay? So, yeah, I mean, I guess let me just show you. It's already installed and set up, but here it is. And there's a couple different ways that you can set this up. Um, if your deadbolt is up top, you're gonna wanna have it situated where the bottom part is actually facing down. Um, I think in, you know, most of the uh, different pictures uh, that I've seen it, it's positioned the other way. But if you're into a situation where this is the case, it, you know, obviously if you had it up, it would it would cut into this and it would you wouldn't be able to make it work that way. So I have it actually flipped opposite. Um, and down here is the battery uh, port and. I only need to change the batteries about, I would say, every six months. So they last quite a while and I have uh, guests coming in here all the time. So really great battery life. Um, the reset button is there in case you need to, uh, you know, you, you actually just stick a pin inside this hole if you need to reset it and then you also take a battery out to you know, those two things in conjunction, hit the reset and take one of the batteries out to reset the lock. Slide this back up. And it easily syncs with the, uh, the Wi-Fi. Here's the front. Um, you know, that's the lock state. These numbers light up. Um, you can assign multiple codes you know, and um, for like, you know, for yourself as uh, the maintenance or uh, administrator, uh, you can set different codes to the maids, uh, you know, people that you have coming in to clean on a regular basis. And you can also set individual codes to um, your, your guests, all pretty much generated automatically and um, they activate at the desired time and then they also deactivate at a desired time. So I have my codes being sent to my guests automatically via email and the code activates at three o'clock. So if they show up before then, they're not gonna have access to it until three, which is kind of nice if um, you know your, your people are cleaning uh, and you, you know, I mean, or even if, <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's just better. It's just better for security. If, you know, if maybe you have other guests in and the other people show up early. It's like, you're not gonna have that issue because they won't be able to access the property until the actual designated time that they're supposed to enter. And then also likewise, when their stay is over, the lock will, you know, deactivate. I have it to deactivate at, uh, 11.15, so I give them a 15 minute grace period. 11.15 a.m. checkout is at 11. So, and and like I said, it all is pretty much done automatically. These codes are sent out automatically and it's really easy to set up on the uh, user interface online. So, 
This is, a, I think, about like a $300 lock. You can, I think maybe you can get it for a little less. Maybe I paid like $280 or, or something like that on Amazon. And this is the i5. They actually have the i7 model and, you know, other newer models than this. But uh, they're more expensive. And I found that, you know, for the price and what I needed to do, the i5 is just fine. So I have a bunch of these and... Um, and they've been they've been good so far. Knock on wood. Um, I actually had an issue with one of these and had pretty a good customer support experience. They they sent out uh, a new lock that was under warranty, and um, yeah. So if any issues do arise, they'll send you out a new one if it's within the one year warranty. Uh, so that's nice to know and have peace of mind with the investment because it is a little bit pricey, like I said, but. Yeah, it's a good lock. I recommend this one if you're in the, the market for uh, a Wi-Fi lock. So I think that's all I have to say. I hope you found this video helpful. And um, if you did, please smash that like button. It helps the YouTube algorithm uh, to, in terms of pushing this video more to the top so that more people can see this content. And uh, yeah, thanks so much. And I'll see you in the next one.